Ada. We have just visited the maqam of Adam alayhi salam. This maqam of Adam here in this holy mosque, it is narrated by the commander of the faithful, Ali ibn Abi Talib, peace be upon him. That when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked his angels to do sujood to Adam, they did so. And Imam Ali alayhi salam says that they did in this holy land, in this holy mosque. Here in this holy mosque, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgave Adam. It is here in this holy mosque where Adam in this mosque supplicated to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and did tawassul with the names that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had taught him. Allah taught him the kalimat فَتَلَقَّى آدَمْ مِنْ رَبِّهِ كَلِمَاتْ فَتَابَ عَلَيْهِ Here in this mosque, when you come to Masjid al-Kufa, you go to the maqam of Adam alayhi salam. You pray four units of prayer and you supplicate to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you do tawassul to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through Ahl al-Bayt alayhum salam. Now, we want to go more into the story of Adam, peace be upon him. What happened with Adam alayhi salam? It is narrated by the books of Ahadith and this incident is mashhur, it's famous and well known amongst the Murrikhun amongst the historians and traditionists that this kalimat that Adam, peace be upon him, received from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala were the names of Ahl al-Kisa. I will give you an example. I will give you an example from these narrations, from the books of the Amma, from the Mukhalifin. The first hadith is from Al-Maghazili. Al-Maghazili narrates from Ibn Abbas, he says, I asked the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wa Wasallam may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him. I asked him, what are the kalimat, what are the words that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala taught Adam so that today it could be a sunnah for us as well. He said, Adam ask Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala by the rights of Muhammad, Ali, Fatima, Hassan and Hussein. Adam alayhi salam ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bi haqqi haula al khams Muhammad wa Ali wa Fatima wal Hassan wal Hussein. This is narrated in Ihqaq al Haqq, volume 3, page 76. Now, subhanallah, subhanallah, that sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes even the enemy utter words of Haq. For it's narrated by the biggest pillar of the Mukhalifin, whom Umar ibn al-Khattab narrates his tradition. Umar ibn al-Khattab narrates his tradition. He said concerning the verses, when he was asked about these five verses, he said, Adam said, I ask Allah by the right of Muhammad and his holy progeny, O oh Allah, forgive me. Over here, over here, by the fifth, by the seventh pillar, Adam alayhi salam repented with sincere dua and supplication. He said, Ya Allah, will you not forgive me by the right of those that you love, by the right of those that you taught me to forgive? And Allah forgave Adam. Allah forgave Adam and Adam has given us now a sunnah, a sunnah hasana, a beautiful tradition that we today inshallah should enact and practice. We as well, we as well ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by the right of Muhammad and Al Muhammad alayhum salatu wa salam to forgive us our sins and to grant us eternal paradise and grant us their intercession. 
My dear brothers and sisters, this is only the beginning of our journey in Masjid al-Kufa because the same place where Adam السلام, did repentance and by the maqam of Jibra'il السلام, which is as well behind me where Jibra'il came here and also prayed two units of prayer is the maqam of Amir al-Mu'mineen sallallahu alayhi It is narrated that the commander of the faithful Ali ibn Abi Talib peace be upon him would pray by the fifth and seventh pillar and when Imam Ali السلام, was not here in the masjid Al Hassan ibn Ali took his place at the seventh pillar. But usually, these two pillars, these two locations here behind me, are the most holiest places in this holy mosque. These two pillars, the footsteps of the commander of the faithful, alayhi salam, were here. The footsteps of Al Hassan ibn Ali are printed here. The footsteps of Al Hussein ibn Ali, Shaheed Karbala, is here. Did you know that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam states in a narration? He tells, Ya Ali, لَقُلْتَ فِيكَ مَقَالَةً كَمَا قَالَةً نَصَارَى لِعِيسَ ابْنَ مَرْيَمْ He said, Ya Ali, I were to say a description about you the same way that the Nasara, the Christians, said to Isa ibn Maryam, then I would say, something about you, O oh Ali, that anywhere you would walk, the people would come and take blessings from your feet. Now just imagine and ponder and think, what holy place do we stand on? And I repeat again and say, when you enter this masjid, please enter with utmost respect and purity, because this masjid, this masjid has a sanctity like the masjid in Mecca, or like the Masjid al Nabawi of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. What do you guys think? Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salam used to pray. What do you guys think of the prayer of Ali ibn Abi Talib, peace be upon him? It is narrated that one day one of the companions of Imam al Sajjad came to him and he told him, Is this anything like the ibadah? the worship of your grandfather, Amir al-Mu'mineen, peace be upon him. 